Okay, it is the start of a new weekend, a long weekend actually, because it's Nova Scotia Heritage Day, Monday slash Family Day, which is a stat day. But I also had majority of today off as well because I booked so many hours throughout the week. I'm launching this new marketing campaign at work, which just so happens to have paid off because now I can enjoy an extra long weekend. I'm kind of tied into a reading vlog. Which brings me to my next point of what I'm going to be reading this weekend. Genuinely, besides Stormlight Archive 5, like top three most anticipated books this year. I can't believe my luck. I waited a good amount of time to see if it would come into my local bookstores and it just wasn't. So unfortunately, I did have to order online, but it is The Trials of the Empire by Richard Swan. It is the third and final installment in the Justice of Keen series, if that's what it's called. And I have to say, I spent the majority of this morning both cleaning because I have a girl's night and reading, and I have made it 20% of the way through. I'm 108 pages in, and it has not disappointed. I kind of made my boyfriend pick up the series, and he's read book one and two, and is eagerly awaiting book three when I finish. And we got into such a good discussion of what's going to happen in this third and final installment and now I'm enough of the ways in that I can't really banter about what I think is going to happen because it kicks off right away and I'm loving it so I'm currently watching Southern Charm just like re-watching in the background and I'm going to I think try to read a little bit more before my best friend comes over and then we're going to have a little bit of a girls night a little bit of a catch-up Ian is out for the night having a little bit of a boys night so I'm thinking we're just gonna have like well I've kind of started ahead of time but we're gonna have a little bit of wine I bought a pizza that we're gonna cook and I'm thinking at the end of the night I can get a little bit more reading done before Ian comes home around midnight so we'll we'll see how long I can last to be honest but nice little girls night in can't wait. It's going to be such a good week and we're having Ian's grandmother over tomorrow and then we're going to try to squeeze in like 24 hours of reading on Sunday, but we'll see how it goes. So welcome to an extra long reading weekend with my most anticipated fantasy of the year. Okay, and an odd turn of events, I'm wildly hungover because I actually went out last night. It started as a pretty okay low-key girls night and then Ian texted me that him and his friends were going karaoke which I have to say I had to join and we were downtown in 20 minutes so I have spent most of today recovering Ian has just popped out to go grab his grandmother and then we're gonna have her over for dinner and then I'm gonna get some reading done tonight so I did not read nary a page and have just been struggling to keep it together because we have grandparents visiting so I put on some makeup unfortunately I slept in my contacts so contacts are a no-go today and I have about 20 minutes to tidy the house and get myself together so that's basically where we're at right now I'm still loving my book and I did just get a notification from the library that the newest um, Tia Williams has come in so I think that will be a good book to read like in tandem with Richard Swan so I'm gonna take a couple minutes rehydrate and then tidy the house it is Monday night which means I have work tomorrow I finished therefore Ian has now started the trials of the empire and I gave it four and a half out of five stars it was absolutely amazing literally the only issue I had was basically in this final book it split pretty dead in half of almost an adventure style fantasy for the first half and the second half is sort of that crescendo we've been waiting for with Claver but I really because it's the first time we get to explore some of these places I really could have done with an entire book for the first half and an entire book for the second half, though I do understand that would have taken away a lot of the momentum that Richard Swan has built up. And I do also think it's worth noting that this final installment is so much more 
almost like a horror, like where we saw it very briefly in the first one, more in the second one, it is like at its peak in this one. It's like political religious horror fantasy. And I absolutely loved it. That being said, I didn't get any other reading done and I'm a little worried I'm gonna fall into a slump because I loved it so much. And it's just really great when a highly anticipated book winds up being exactly what you wanted. So that's gonna be it for me this weekend. Short and sweet, but I really can't say too much without giving it away um, as it is the final book. But that was a great long weekend spent reading one of my most anticipated. Absolutely loved it. So, so happy. And I will see you in my next video.